Now well, there it is. I don't know if it's focusing very good or not. Maybe I should move it up. But back there where the ribbon is, do you see that red glow? I don't think that red glow is supposed to be there. That red glow is uh, a card that I'm using. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to uh, give me uh, five extra USB 3.0 ports. And uh, I installed the drivers exactly the way uh, the instructions said to do it. I installed the device, uh, you know, with the computer shut off, of course. Uh, myself, I, I like to drain the power right out of the motherboard before I do anything like that. Uh, you know, uh, with installations of devices that connect directly to the motherboard. It's uh, very good to uh, shut off the computer, unplug the computer, and then hit the power button and drain the motherboard because there's th th you'll see that the light on the motherboard will stay on. And that means that there is still power running through the circuit in the motherboard. That has to do with uh, power being stored in the capacitors. Uh, so that's how I do it. I make sure that that is a completely dead board uh, before I start, you know, plugging things in or taking things out of a motherboard. It's a, it's a very good uh, policy uh, to adopt when you're building computers. Anyway. <clears throat> So, um, you know, I did that, and uh, uh, I, I uh, installed the drivers, and, uh, and I still have a red light. So, I don't know what the deal is there, you know. It's kind of annoying. It's the only red light that stays on in my PC. Um, I've contacted the manufacturer, and uh, I'm waiting for them to get back to me, but it is a little annoying. The one good thing about that, um, no, that's that's a different thing. I was thinking is uh, you see the ribbon, the IDE ribbon. I have another card in there, and uh, it actually allows me to look at uh, um, IDE uh, type uh, um, hard drives, and uh, yeah, even PETA drives. I can't really do anything. I mean, I can't format them or anything. I can't initialize them. Uh, but uh, at least I get I can read the product information uh, uh, off the hard drive so it's kind of a handy thing you know I mean this being my workstation my workstation my uh, gaming station my uh, uh, book writing station my uh, server station my <laughs> my everything uh, my desktop and uh, yeah so there it is uh, uh, some of you actually asked for uh, a video you know um, I was surprised so um, yeah it, this is it it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, my thermal take and uh, uh, yeah I, I had two requests for uh, a video of uh, my uh, unit uh, from I guess my techie friends so yeah, uh, I guess I could swing around to the front a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the uh, the fan control. Um, I don't know if it's on full blast or yeah, it's running full blast. Believe it or not, it's quiet. Um, T T three. Uh, that would be um, uh, one of the raid cards. Um, T4 was, was the fins on the cooler, that's why it was so cold. Uh, T1 is my primary uh, LSI RAID card. Um, the uh, the T, T2, uh, see that's the fins, right? T4 is the fins. There's, there's the primary RAID card right there, 2028. T2, that's the other RAID card that I'm not really particularly concerned about. Uh, that would be there, the T3. Yeah, that would be my um, my uh, Creative Sound Blaster card, uh, my Titanium Creative Sound Blaster card. So uh, it gets the hottest, actually. It tends to get the hottest of all, 
and still you know just a little over 30 degrees it's not too bad uh, it doesn't have any uh, fan directly blowing on it uh, the um, the uh, uh, primary raid card uh, uh, T1 uh, the LSI raid card uh, has a fan blowing directly against um, the heat sink on the chip and uh, a blower fan over top drawing heat off of it and uh, it's a no that blower fan is really noisy but it really works and uh, just wait for it say T1 again see 28 degrees that's nice that is very nice for a raid card especially a raid card with uh, eight uh, eight SATA ports coming out of it so uh, yeah nice um, of course I'm not using all the SATA ports at this time but uh, yeah, I'd, I like to keep things cool and with the door which is not on it yet uh, I like the two blues I don't know if that's going to show up the two different kinds of blue I have but with the door on the on the case it, it's it's like an ice chest in there it's really nice and cool but uh, I have the door off right now because I've been doing work on it and uh, yeah I hope uh, over time to uh, make it even better but uh, yeah uh, there's uh, there's a mess of wires here that needs to be uh, tied up and uh, yeah um, so um, that's it for now um, my uh, my music center is is, is here uh, I uh, decided I'd opt there's the remote control I'd opt for uh, a, re a remote control uh, music center so I could sit on my couch and watch a documentary <laughs> with a volume control I don't have to get my lazy bones off the couch when I'm watching my documentary now because I can turn the volume up and down and uh, the uh, external drive three terabyte uh, WD uh, that's my backup drive I'm I'll be giving that to the wife uh, shortly uh, it's called my book it's a good little backup drive I was really surprised actually uh, you know um, Western Digital is really coming along and uh, well I guess they've always been a fairly good company and then I've got a Motorola uh, um, um, I don't know what's wrong with my memory tonight uh, a Motorola router uh, that uh, serves me well and uh, gives me the best possible speed I can get here where I am in my location and uh, way over here on this side um, I have a, um, a Xfinity uh, power uh, UPS un uninterruptible power supply which is running uh, the wife's computer and my computer at the same time so that in the event that there's a power outage we'll have about 10 minutes or so to shut everything down maybe even longer actually uh, that all depends on yeah and there's my Edward King you see that's that's my Asus account uh, I'm uh, explaining to them uh, about my uh, Asus graphics card. I think I've actually tracked down the culprit that fried my motherboard. Uh, there was a problem with that uh, GPU. Uh, I noticed it uh, when I installed it that the green light on the power indicator did not turn on. And uh, the person who read my uh, report didn't quite understand what I meant by the power light. You know, he said, Oh, no, no, I think that's, that's your power supply unit. I just let him say what he wanted. Um, <laughs> I know better. Uh, in fact, uh, as you can see right here, the power supply unit is definitely running. If it wasn't running, these things would not be running. This is the same power supply unit. Uh, no, I was talking about the green indicator light on the GPU. The, the power indicator on the GPU itself was intermittent and then of course then he thought well that's supposed to be that way it's supposed to be flashing no no it didn't work you know it didn't work and uh, uh, it worked before and it didn't work you know like um, it worked it worked originally and then it wouldn't turn on and then so you know I did the whole routine turn off the computer unplug the computer 
push in the power supply button until the green light on the motherboard is out. Then uh, disconnect and reconnect. And I did that. And lo and behold, the green light turned on the GPU after I plugged it back in and turned on the computer. You know, but to try to explain this to this gentleman, uh, who obviously English was not his sec, you know, English was his second language, and uh, he did not get me right. So I just wrote to Asus. Uh, I'm hoping that Asus will respond uh, to uh, my complaint, but uh, um, because he was very hard to understand. And uh, I knew he didn't understand me, and I didn't want to spend the time, you know, trying to correct him. Uh, you know, he talked to me as though I didn't know much about computers. Um, you know, I, I admit, I am not an IT. I've said this before. I've said this many times before. Okay, I am not an IT. Yes, I did some training with Microsoft, okay, th that made me... Uh, 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 a different sort of a systems operator, not an IT. Okay, uh, I did take some training with them. Uh, yes, I have written my own, made my own uh, web page. Uh, yes, I've done a HTML. Uh, yes, I. Yes, you know, I've tried my own uh, shoot it up of different things. I've, I've built my co PC. Um, you know, yes, I've done the way around with you know, uh, that. You know, I've, I've me and I those things. Oh, but no, it does not make IT. T. I so. Those people I salute who are you know, committed to the computer science, who are assigned you know, to the compliantists, the princes who actually real science, you know, okay, code people who are you know, uh, right like this, binary, that's not me, you no, know, all right, but still people, um, no, I really appreciate the way the man taught oh, me, he gave me the impression that they didn't know what I was talking about, friend. So, uh, yeah, you know, I hope somebody from ASUS with uh, you know an I IQ of over a hundred uh, uh, and a good command of the English language gets a hold of me uh, I'm hoping uh, because uh, otherwise I'm out 300 bucks you know this is a you know this is a three hundred uh, dollar uh, GPU and uh, yeah I would uh, I would like a refund actually I don't even want to own it again uh, because obviously I mean you know why take a chance right um, I would. I mean, I'll still buy an ASUS product if they comply, but if they don't comply, they have really lost a good customer because I've been buying ASUS products uh, since uh, 2001. I've been using ASUS products. Uh, so, I mean, if they don't comply with me, I will certainly, I will most certainly stop buying ASUS products because there's no point in getting jerked around like that. I like to deal with a company that stands behind their product. And, you know, ASUS uh, struck me as uh, that sort of company, at least, you know, the, with uh, concerning the motherboard. They, they replaced that. That's what's in here now. But, uh, yeah, um, you know, I just can't let this uh, GPU go. You know, they're going to have to either replace it or give me a refund. And if they replace it, well, you know, I may give it to someone else or sell it, you know, to someone else. But I don't want to put it on this motherboard anymore because, you know, why should I take that chance? Why take the chance of burning out a brand new motherboard all over again? You know, because I'm pretty sure it was uh, uh, that graphics card. And, you know, it just may not be compliant with a Z87 motherboard. You know, do I want to take that kind of chance? No, I don't want to take that chance. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to. But, hey, either give me the card back or give, you know, brand new uh, RMA the card, you know. Or, or give me my money back so I can buy a better Asus card. It doesn't matter. I mean, I will go you know, to, I'll go to a titanium if I, whatever, uh, you know, and pay the difference. But, uh, uh, you know, let me leave me hanging. Uh, and, and the warrant, because what he says, he said, the warrant, uh, I think that T on that is by the How can T on or in our product beaks? It didn't bought it until I paid for it. I did October. Call it and to come here. November. And November. Oh, it's an install. I mean, all December. Is it like now? Only have like a fire day warrant, you know, or something? Does it all? He's a 90s didn't be on be that way, you know. Ace, but then again, I never had to return the ASUS product, you know, either. I never passed decades and all the ASUS product uh, components I purchased. Uh, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, they're all still running. You know, I have an ASUS 
uh, 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 video card, okay, um, I think it's called an MX400. This card is 14 years old, and you know what? It's still working. It's still working. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they've gone the way, you know, as the rest of these two big to fail companies. I don't know, you know, lowered the quality of their products and don't care about the customer anymore. I hope not. Because, man, you know, I used to tell everybody, go Asus. Use Asus products. You know, and now this. Ah, the year's off to a great start, eh? Uh, oh well, God bless you. Thanks for listening to my rant. God bless you.